potentiometer. A beautiful electrical instrument which is used for many purposes to, to know the unknown EMF of a cell, unknown internal resistance of a cell, to compare the EMFs. How? Simple. Potentiometer is examiner's favorite pet. You know why? It looks intimidating. Ha ha, seriously. It looks intimidating. And, and any examiner, if I'm designing a paper, I would love a question which when is thrown at you, you get shocked. Ye kya hai? But in reality, it's a simple question. Potentiometer fits the bill. So as usual, first I will explain to you in my own handwriting and then I will give you the fair version of it. Hai? All right. Potentiometer is actually nothing but first of all is made up of a primary circuit. What is a primary circuit you ask? I'll show you. Watch. This is a typical apparatus. Don't worry. I'll, exp I'll tell you. Na. First I will explain it using my own hands. And then I will give you the fair graphical version of it. Okay? What is, what is here? I can see an emitter. I can see a drawing board. I can see a, I have no idea what, what's going on. The batteries are sending current and God knows what is happening and this and that. See, intimidated or not? That's my point. Are you intimidated? Isn't it? Yes. Now watch. Now watch on the right hand side what I'm trying to do here. It starts with just one simple circuit which is called a primary circuit. Watch. This is called E. This is called small r. This is called wire A and wire B. Check first of all. Don't get confused in what they are calling as A and B. Don't worry about that. A and B is one wire. It can, it can be made bigger. Then I'll also tell you what they have done. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just look on the right hand side. Here. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at on the right hand side. Forget about the left hand side. Theek. What will this do? Sir, is there any resistance of AB? Of course there is a resistance of AB. So let the resistance of AB let the resistance of AB be capital R. Theek hai. Will there be I current? Yes, sir. There will be I current. Are you sure? Yes, sir. That I current starts here. Now, terminal 1 a and B. And B has a galvanometer. And galvanometer is attached to a jockey. I'll repeat. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. She Is this okay? So far? Please don't look at the left hand side. I beg of you. If you understand what I'm trying to do right now. Everything is sorted. This is P. P for primary circuit. What does primary circuit contain? One battery, real world battery. That means it's EMF, it's internal resistance, TK, and one wire AB. The wire AB is not conducting wire. It has got its own resistance. What is the total resistance? R, TK. Now, from A, you open the portal, open, the, open terminal small a. And the B, via galvanometer, you connect it to a jockey. Jockey means movable point. Theek hai. Got it? And between A and B, what did we do? Between A and B, you connected something, whatever you want. X. Kuch B, whatever you want. What is this? Secondary circuit. This jockey is moving, 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 plop finds a null point. Hmm. Okay. Theek hai. Hmm? Do you agree that potential across your X will be same as VA minus VP? Hmm. Hmm. Correct. Check, check, check again. Check again. Check again. <clears throat> Null deflection means there is no current in G. 
करेक्ट सर नो करंट इन जी नो करंट इन जी सो इफ दिस इज जीरो दिस इज जीरो बिकॉज देर इज नो करंट एंड इफ दिस इज वी दिस इज वी सो वॉट इज पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए एंड पी वी माइनस जीरो वॉट इज द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अक्रॉस एक्स वी माइनस जीरो आई रिपीट वन लास्ट टाइम जस्ट वॉच वन लास्ट टाइम primary circuit is a constant primary circuit is a constant between a you take a portal out open for open for connections and you put connect something what do we connect your call baba kuch bhi and the other end is connected to a galvanometer with a jockey that point it finds a null point if it finds a null point all i'm saying is that VA minus V small b, the PD across X is simply equal to VA minus VP. Is the basic theory okay? Hmm? This is called secondary circuit. In other words, at null deflection, all you do is you find out the PD between A and P using primary circuit and equate it to the PD of the element of the secondary circuit. That's it. and i will do this again and again to show you how simple is this but did i prove my point when you look in the left hand side or even now the right hand side does it look intimidating or not ha huh. but i will i will show you how this is the most scoring thing now all they have done is they have made the wire a wee lot bigger why are baba so that there are bigger uh, you have a bigger wire that means your bigger value data can be analyzed nothing else they could have simply connected a and b into one line also big deal <laughs> got it now i'll show you how it works and what can be done do you remember a and p yeah yeah of course i remember a and p hmm so again again i'll draw primary circuit for you again do you agree that now i don't even need to draw the secondary circuit all i need to do is this e small r a b and p and not to forget who's p p is null point p is null point what is the current in the primary circuit current in the primary circuit is e upon r plus r of course who is r the entire ab wire is r resistance check 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 hmm 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 if i ask you what is va minus vp it is nothing but by a unitary method va minus vb mm -hmm. per unit total length mm -hmm. into small l and small l happens to be this length that's it sometimes sometimes people call it z some people call it i don't some people and it is simply equal to what zl pre tell what is z sir z is potential difference per unit length or anything which changes per unit length is called what gradient potential gradient if you think this is too difficult you are wrong if you think this is too bulky you are right if you think this can be intimidating you are right if you think this is difficult you are wrong again that's it this is it itna hi hai trust me all questions all questions are based on this nothing else let's say let's say in that dabba you have unknown emf possible possible how does the story start so you, if you want i can draw a, a proper circuit here also hmm hmm step 1 draw the primary circuit you know what it really helps if you have your nomenclature clear always call your emf e okay this will be small r what did they do this time this time they took that a out connected some kind of known value and 
the other was here p a and of course that will be let that be small l so if that is small l they can calibrate hai na if they calibrate v a minus v p will be equal to how much that will be equal to e upon r plus r that's right very good this is current i into r that is va minus vb upon l multiplied by l hmm now can i replace va minus vb as simply v not so this becomes v not by l into l in fact you do know that if i divide them also i will get z potential gradient but that's okay if you want your information very clear here what is v not equal to v not is equal to i capital r don't forget what will this be equal to this will be equal to the e dash which is the known part this way you can calibrate your instrument you can use it to construct it it can go up to e dash value then na got it sure but now the good thing is whatever is in that dabba that is going to fetch us results now are you ready are you ready now watch i am not going to do this again and again let's say somebody experimented once with cell e1 and got the neutral length l1 do you agree that va minus vp1 is equal to z forget about v not by l z l1 yes sir and what is that equal to e1 right even if somebody asks me what is e1 is if you want e1 is equal to zl1 and z happens to be what va minus vb upon l l1 kapish perfect now let's say for the second cell the null point comes comes at p2 now va minus vp2 will be equal to what zl2 that's right if you ask me what is that z equal to uh, what is that uh, e2 equal to here we go so e2 will be equal to what v not l2 by l divide that even by e2 is l1 by l2 ah so you are saying the two emfs ratio is nothing but the two length ratio nice all this from primary imagine primary second circuit two holders out whatever i connect in between find the null point va minus vp will be equal to that potential uh, whatever is inside the dabba there is one more thing which can be used now watch measurement of internal resistance watch 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 now try to recreate this think about it if you want i can hand draw this you want me to hand draw this okay fine what is the first thing you will do first thing you will do is draw the primary circuit here primary circuit values e small r a b hmm now what you do you take a portal small portal out in that small portal what they happen to have is another cell something like this here that portal is a and this portal is b how much is the how much is the emf of this this value e dash this value small r this value capital r connected to a galvanometer and whoop null point check the circuit easy no rush check the circuit first hmm do you agree that va minus vp is equal to 
VA minus VB. That's all I want from you. Please tell me you, you are okay with this. Please, please, please tell me. VA minus VP is equal to VA minus VB. Believe me, this is the thing, this is the mantra, the crux, the talisman of potentiometer. Nothing else. Nothing else. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. 30 seconds for you to absorb it, then I go ahead. Be in the habit of drawing primary circuit first and then secondary. Fun fact, how do you find VA minus VB? Here. Tell me, tell me, tell me, how do you do that? Are it is E dash upon R plus R into R. The PD across us, the PD across the capital R resistance. Hmm? Did you get it? So the crux is just by playing around with primary circuit and secondary circuit all along. In fact, look at this diagram. This key, I could have opened the key. If I, if I actually opened the key, then what happened? Then the, the lower branch will become redundant. Then VA minus VP will be simply equal to what? E dash. Do you understand? I'll repeat. Look at the diagram. Look at the diagram. In this diagram, the key is closed right now. So, so what is the effective circuit? The effective circuit is, can you see? E dash R and capital R. In that case, how much VA minus VP came out to be? E dash upon R plus R, R. I'm saying in this very diagram, if I open the key, the lower branch is gone. Then VA minus VP will simply be equal to what? The unknown E dash. In other words, you can find out unknown EMF. You can find out comparison of two EMF ratios. You can find out unknown internal resistance. All this is fine. What you are finding is not important, Baba. How you are finding is important. What you're that's why I gave you the master circuit. I wrote an X, remember? In the master diagram, in the secondary circuit, I wrote an X. Who cares what's inside the X? What is the methodology? Write it down if you want to remember the flowchart. Step one find potential gradient in the primary circuit. Step two locate the null point. Step three find out the potential difference between A and the null point. Equate that potential difference to whatever is in the dubba, in the secondary circuit potential, that's it.